Harry and the pirate, friends, as they start their journey along the lonely mountain road that leads toward the town of Min Chow. Here they hope to be safe from the invaders' bombing raids and to eventually secure a plane and fly back to Singapore. Don't miss this exciting transcribed adventure that's on the way. Terry and the Pirates is brought to you by the makers of Libby's Tomato Juice, one of Libby's hundred famous foods. Boys and girls, do you know how to get a thrill of a lifetime? By sending right now for your Terry Scope. Yes, you can get a Terry Scope just like the one that's been playing such a big part in these adventures, modeled directly after the one that Terry invented. Your Terry Scope is made out of cardboard and mirrors, just like his. But, of course, yours is brand new, keen-looking, and works just like a whiz. Gosh, you've got a swell time ahead when you get your Terry Scope. Well, you can see around corners with it, you know. See without being seen yourself. You can look over tall fences, too, and see what's going on behind you. And, kids, all that isn't half of it. Actually, this Terry Scope gives you the secret Chinese code that Terry invented and taught to Big Stoop and Connie. It's the code Jude described as secret chicken tracks. Remember? And listen, even that isn't all. The Terry Scope gives you the Morse code, too. And it's got a swell new game called a treasure hunt and a tricky picture of old Big Stoop. Why, say, you'll get thrills galore from your Terry Scope, and you want to send for it at once. Now, here's all you do to get it. Ask Mother to get a can of Libby's tomato juice and one of Libby's pineapple juice. They're both delicious, a real treat. Then take the labels off the cans, and on the back of one of them, print your full name, age, and address. Mail the labels with 10 cents to Terry in care of Libby's in Chicago. I don't guess I have to remind you of all the tight places where the Terry Scope has already come to the rescue of our friends in China. Now, this tricky invention of Terry's is still playing an important part in these adventures. So you'll want to get yours just as soon as possible so you can follow just what's happening in the show. Now, more than likely, your mother has some Libby's tomato juice and Libby's pineapple juice in the house right now. Look and see after the show and send for your Terry scope right off. Now, remember to enclose 10 cents and give your full name, age, and address. Mail your order to Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Libby's is spelled L-I-B-B-Y-S. And now, Terry and the Pirates. Last week, Terry Lee, Pat Ryan, Burma, and April were flown by Jude Hennick and his big plane to the Chinese Army Field Headquarters near the Kunlun Mountains. There, they delivered the precious portable radio transmitter. But before they could fly back to safety, there was an air raid, and Jude's big plane was wrecked. General Chang, unwilling to let our friends stay here, arranged for them to be taken some miles away to a small town, Min Chow. The general is talking with Jude Hennick now. And I trust you understand the situation, Mr. Hennick. We have no planes big enough to carry your friends, and the dangers are becoming more acute. Yeah, I know, General. I think my friends won't mind going to Minchow for a few days. It is a beautiful town, Mr. Hennick, surrounded by the great Kunlun range of mountains. It is the location of a secret laboratory run by the famous Dr. Moiben. Moiben? Yes. Why, well, say, even I've heard about him. Is he still working on those different forms of gas? I am not at liberty to tell Mr. Hennick. You, you understand why? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. However, I will make a confession to you, for I trust you. <laughs> My real reason for urging you and your friends to retreat to Min Chow is this. I have here an envelope which contains certain formula papers which must be given to Dr. Moe Ben. May I entrust them to you and ask that you deliver them into his hands when you arrive at Minchow? Okay, General. I'll give them to the doctor. And nobody else. All right. I knew there was something back of your plan for us to go inland to that town. And now then, Mr. Hennick, here is another thing. Yeah? I have placed one of our newest transport trucks at your disposal. It is roomy and comfortable. It is enclosed. There are windows and lights if you need them. Fine, fine. Also, I have arranged for a driver 
who can speak and understand English. But you will have to be patient with him. You see, he is new to this. Aren't we all? Well, there's Terry and Patton. Say, dude, these are some mountains, huh? Well, I can't see very much of them from this truck, and uh, <clears throat> I haven't that periscope to look through. So... Oh, I'm sorry. Here, dude, uh, just take a look for yourself. You can see the rocky walls in there. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, shoving the periscope out through this gun port. Is that what that hole in the side of the truck is called? Yeah, you see, they could mount a machine gun inside here if they had to and shoot through this opening. Instead, well, we poke the periscope out and take a look at the... Hmm. Not a great deal to see when you look upward. Rocky walls, skinny trees. Yeah. Well, what do you see now? Uh, nothing. Only I don't like the looks of that sky. First time I've had a good look at it, thanks to this invention of yours. It's a mean-looking sky. Here. See for yourself. Thanks. Yeah. Dark gray. It looks like a stormy sky, huh? Yeah, it looks like snow up there. Well, yeah, well, all the extra around corner looking through this periscope won't change the weather, will it? Say, dude, you think we'll reach Minshaw by tonight? Uh, let's talk to the driver, huh? Say, driver, been on the road over two hours. Think we'll make Minshaw tonight? No, 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 can't say. The road go like this, but cold weather. This is the main road, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's all in Oh, look. Look outside. It's the snow. Ah, I haven't seen snow in ages. Yeah, look how big the flakes are, too. I've never been in the mountains when there was snow. Can I take a look through that hole in the truck? I mean, with the telescope? Oh, yeah, sure. Here you are, April. You'll be able to see in every direction. But it's getting darker, so... I'll see what I can see getting cold. The way that wind is whipping the snow. Is there any place we can stop for the night between here and, and Minchow? Oh, no, no, can't say. This is first time driver's road. Well, snowstorm in the tunnel on mountains doesn't strike me as a picnic. Taking the right road, driver? Difficult thing. Snow have just... Hey, you got a map, driver? Yes, sir. Have here. Maybe we should have taken that road to the left back there a few miles. Well, according to this map, if it is a map, we should be about here. Right. I haven't seen a light of any kind for the last half hour. I was going to wake up early. No, no, no. Let her sleep. Pat, too. Huh. Now anybody could catch a few wings inside this map. There's more than I can see. Say... How's the gas driver? It look pretty good. Uh, wait a minute. Wait. That's funny. What's funny? Well, look there. The gas gauge is broken. Can't tell how much gas we have in the tank. Think there's enough to get us to Minchow? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, dear. We can't see very far ahead now. No, there's a big drift up ahead, and there's a turn in the road. Think you can plow through it, driver? We will try, so no. Okay, give it the gas, and let's hit it. She won't take it. Back her up and try again. Well, we're off the road now. What's all the racket duty? Why are we stopping here? Is Ming Chow? Not yet, Pat. We're stuck in a drift. A drift? Hey, it's snow out there. It's a lulu. You can say that again. We will go outside and take a look at trouble in the There isn't any town or lights around here either. Look there. The snow is almost up to this side window. This is December weather, all right. Yeah, and we're still a long ways from Minshaw, too. Maybe we'll have to dig ourselves out, Pat. Mm, not so easy on this road. No, nope. wind's cutting across the valley. Fast as we'd shovel snow away, it drift back again. Very, very dark in outside. Difficult to see. Right rear wheel in bad place. Yeah, look at his boots. <laughs> Snow's up to his knees. Well, let's try it again, buddy. Maybe we can plow through. Can try do it all. Oh, no, 
not a chance. We're stuck for sure this time. Yeah, and there's no telling how long this storm will continue. We're in a bad spot if anybody happens to ask you. Oh, dear, what are we going to do? Now, ah, listen, all of you, this is no time to get into a panic. Right. But well, this is no place to get stalled. If the snow keeps on the way it is, it'll cover this truck in no time at all. Well, what are we going to do? We can't go wandering around outside. We'll get lost. Hey, driver, turn your motor off. It's warm enough in here for a while. We can't afford to waste gas, especially when we don't know how much we've got. Yes, sir, Kendall. Do you hear that wind? The, uh... <clears throat> yeah. There is a lonesome sound, isn't it? Your, your, your shabby wind is very cold. You must, must do something quick. No, 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 stay here, free. All right, all right, take it easy. You can't be far from some house No, here. no, no, dead truck out of snow, no good. You must move. Right down, you. There's only one thing to do. we got to go for help. Uh, out in storm, get lost in the dark. It's freeze outside. If we stay here and do nothing, we'll all freeze. Oh, no, 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 no freezing. I, I start the motor again. It's heating for inside truck. Yeah, that's going to happen when we run out of gas. Well, Pat. Dude. You stay here and look after the girls. I'm going out and see if I can get help. Now, oh, hold on, fella. You can't go out there alone. No, of course not. Well, let's not be too smart about this. Somebody has to stay here. This driver is as jittery as all get out. Yeah, but if dude stays here, then I'll go with you. You? Oh, no, Terry. There's no need for you to you go out there. You can't go alone, Pat. Yeah, dude's right, Pat. That's right, Mr. Ryan. If you and Terry go together, you'll both help each other. Okay, okay. Let's get started, then. You dressed warm enough, Terry? I got the outfit they gave me at Army headquarters. Looks like I was wrapped in for the winter, but I'm warm enough, I guess. I'll leave the Terry scope here with you, April. All right, Terry. Hi, you, Pat. Okay, feel fine. Had a good snooze back there and ready for trouble. Uh, you got plenty of that. Look, there at the window. The truck is already snowed in and the storm's getting worse. Come on, Terry, let's get started. Whatever we do, we've got to do quick. Snowbound on a lonely mountain road. Swift, heroic action is needed immediately before the bitter cold creeps into the truck and attacks the passengers. Will Terry and Pat Ryan be able to find help somewhere out there in the darkness? You know, if there's one thing you don't want to forget, boys and girls, it's to send for your Terry scope. You've heard what that Terry scope means to our friends in the show. You've got a good idea of all the remarkable things it can do. Yes, if you're smart as I think you are, you rush your Terry Scope order into Libby's without a minute's delay. Believe me, you'll be missing a pile of fun and excitement if you don't get one. You see, kids, it isn't only that you'll be getting a Terry Scope just like the one that's got our friends out of so many jams. The Terry Scope you'll get has eight exciting special features. Codes, games, tricks you can't get anywhere else in the world. And it's a swell-looking thing, too. All lacquered, shiny red and black with a big dragon and Chinese characters on it, and pictures of Pat and Burma and the others. Now, to get this thrilling new Terry scope, here's all you do. You take a label from a can of Libby's delicious tomato juice and one from Libby's grand pineapple juice. Then you print your full name, age, and address on the back of one and mail the labels along with 10 cents to Terry in care of Libby's Chicago, Illinois. You're getting a marvelous bargain when you get this unique Terry scope for just 10 cents and two Libby's labels. It's a chance that may never come your way again after this offer is over. So get your order in now. Address Terry in care of Libby's, Chicago, Illinois. Send a label from Libby's tomato juice, a label from Libby's pineapple juice, and a dime. And, of course, enclose your full name and address. Yes, the wild forces of nature are fully as dangerous as the dragon lady or any other evil force. Our friends, trapped in an army truck in a mountain pass, well, they have a life and death fight ahead of them. Join us for a thrilling transcribed adventure tomorrow when we'll see how a group of resolute Americans fight a blizzard and struggle to keep their chins up. <laughs> 